the problem I want to look at now is um, what we call a double approximation problem where we have um, a casualty and we have to rendezvous um, in this instance we have to rendezvous to sunrise time and we're given the uh, universal time 0800 on the 21st of September and the position that we're in we've made contact with the Coast Guard gut cutter uh, position given and we're going to rendezvous at sunrise the following morning to um, transfer the casualty now it's agreed that the bulk carrier will maintain its course and speed so we need to determine the universal time of sunrise the rendezvous position and the course and speed required by the cutter to make that rendezvous position okay so first of all we need to establish which sunrise so universal time on the bulk carrier is 0800 given that let's apply zone time in other words the um, longitude and that's 11 hours so the approximate LMT would be the 20th at 2100 so that tells us that the first sunrise after the 20th at 2100 will of course be the 21st so we go into the nautical almanac and we find that it's actually the not the middle day so the middle day is the 20th and the middle day on the next day is the 23rd and when we look at 52 degrees and 54 degrees in the uh, times for sunrise the local times we see that it's 0542 for both and when we go to the 23rd at 52 and 54 it's 0547 for both so there's no individual interpolation to do between 52 and 54 degrees so it's the 21st we want so really between 542 and 547 our sunrise will be 0544 so that's the local time on the 21st let's now convert it to universal or GMT because what we have to do is work out the steaming time and because we're given the time here as universal or GMT then we have to convert our sunrise to GMT to get the steaming time and we see there we have a time difference of 8 hours 50 minutes multiply that by the speed 13.5 knots and we have a distance covered 119.3 and it's the bulk carrier of course we're going to use because we're given their course and speed so there's the information there let's transfer that forward and work out the first approximate position so here's the workings by plane sailing of course you can do it by Mercator if you wish and we worked out what we call our first approximate position what we now do is work out a new time of sunrise using this first approximate position again we go into the almanac on the 20th and the 23rd as previous 542 and 47 so that doesn't change it's still 0544 but what will change potentially is the steaming time because of our longitude now the previous longitude uh, time was 11 hours and now it's 10 hours 55 so we've got our GMT of sunrise so now our time difference is 8 hours 39 minutes 8 hours 39 so the previous one because it was 11 hour 06 we had a steamy time of 8 hours 50 now that's going to drop to 8 hours 39 to get our second approximate position so again usual plain sailing follow through as I've done there you could have done by Mercator and we get our second approximate position which is the rendezvous position so at this point when we've looked up using the first approximate position we've actually got the sunrise time there 0544 we've now worked out the steaming time carried that forward and worked out the second approximate position so that's the rendezvous position the last question said well what course and speed will the course coast guard cutter have to do um, to make the rendezvous so what we have to do is use the second approximate position and the cutter's present position to work out the course and then the distance so we've got the course and distance but they've actually asked for what speed we have to do 
Well, we know the steaming time, it's 8 hours 39 minutes. We know we've got to cover 85.9 miles, so that will tell us that the speed required is 9.9 .9 knots. So with these problems, you always have to get a second approximate position and then solve the problem. So you can't just use one approximate and leave it at that. You have to get your first approximate position, reappraise the time of sunrise and the steaming time to get your second approximate position and then you can use that second position as the rendezvous position to calculate any course and speed required by the other vessel.